basic geometry, the 1D model at 180 degrees. To begin our examination into the underlying geometries of time travel, we look first to the centroid point, extended into a linear measure that describes one extension of the centroid point onto a plane surface, the sum of all which can be described as the circle surrounding the centroid at the distance of the line. We mark these measurements thus, the centroid is the past, the radius the present, and the circle the future. The 2D model at 45 degrees. In the next model, we can see the same shape turned to a 45 degree angle from its previous depiction and given form extending into an additional dimension. This is also how time works. It adds spin in a fourth direction whose change can be measured as the dimension of duration. By adding an extra dimension to the simple circle, we produce the sphere seen here with a clockwise spiraling top pole and a counterclockwise spiraling bottom pole. The 1D model at 90 degrees. To return again to the simple circle model expressed as a flat plane, we see that in order to be able to visually depict the addition of an extra dimension, we can add a twist to the plane on which the simple circle model occurs, such that from along the side of the simple circle, we now see the infinity symbol. The 3D model at 45 degrees. In this model, also the creation of Dutch artist Martz Cornelius Escher, we see the effect of the addition of an extra dimension of motion to the prior model of the twin spirals on the poles of a sphere. In this model, we see the tube torus shape formed by the expanding contracting spiral as the twin spirals are extended over duration being caused to autocorrelate or self-connect. This is also a model for infinite recursion. The 1D model at 45 degrees. Finally, in terms of models constructed on a plane space from the original simple circle, we can examine this two-knot loop depicting a view of the simple circle's plane space from along the edge, as well as the cross-section of a tube torus. This diagram was drawn by Aleister Crowley and the labels reflect the zodiac. The 4D model at 45 degrees. And finally, in terms of a comparable shape to the last two prior patterns combined, we see the trefoil or threefold knot. This is the result of taking a tube torus and adding an extra dimension of motion or spin to it. Then, instead of only clockwise or counterclockwise, there will be an additional direction for spin or rotation. Here we see the shortest distance between any two points on this model may be a straight line only if it does not follow along the surface of the model, but instead breaks the surface to travel outside the model entirely. T4 Intermediate Geometry First, let us look at some four-space manifolds, or M-brain shapes, that represent the typical looped Calabi U-shaped structures we find in hyperspace timelines. To begin with, we have a simple, infinitely repeating feedback loop of two wormholes connected by a single, twice-looped time tunnel between them. In the next depiction, we see the position of the previously depicted three-knot, or trefoil, shape is measuring a single continuous surface that has three loops in it, and it has three points of crossover juncture where a straight line could connect between them along a shorter distance than by following the continuous surface. Here we see the tube torus demonstrating a dual twist internal to the tube as well as a simple circle around its radius. The dual twist in this case reflects the 4D hyperspatial dimensional nature of the object, showing us that the torus is another term for a hypersphere, or a sphere nested within another sphere. Finally, in these wireframe models of embrane temporal surfaces, we find an exploded, that is to say schematically expanded, trefoil surrounded by three toroid loops. The trefoil itself is formed in the middle, while at each of the three main axes of rotation for the model there is an ellipse representing a torus. Geometric Gnomon The concept of a gnomon is similar to that of a fractal. However, while a fractal blacks out in some spots to form dead spaces where the patterns self-terminate, a gnomonic pattern yields perpetual regeneration of the original shape that can be scaled up or down in n dimensions, that is, beyond the infinity of counting numbers. In this diagram, we see color-coded all the different motions that can be taken along the lines and arcs of the previous diagram, depicting a typical example of a simple gnomonic form of replicating pattern. Here we see that the midpoints of the green, the red, and then the blue lines are labeled in alphabetical order in the sequence ABC. The blue arc is labeled as the square root of 2, 
The green arc is the square root of 1, and the red arc's intersection with the green arc on the left, the square root of 1 half. We see the vertical lines measure space while the horizontal lines measure time. T4, Advanced Geometry. Here we see a linear depiction of a one-knot shape such as those introduced briefly by the three-knot trefoil diagram seen before. This simple one-knot is to the curvilinear manifolds of four space, equivalent to the simple circle in Euclidean geometry. Next, we see a standard depiction of a three-knot that has its three knots nested in a column up the center rather than arrayed around and about its central axis alike petals on a rose. In looking at this model here, we note that it is at a 45 degree angle from the position we will be looking at it from next. In this depiction, we find a rough skeletal framework for locating the torus at the center of the three knot that has all three loops aligned along a central axis. The torus is in the dead center, hiding in plain sight in the form of a minor optical illusion. In this next rendition of the same model, we find the torus labeled with the signs of the zodiac as given previously by Crowley and the trefoil surface rings itself being measured by a small model of base 4 over base 3 structure depicted out of sequence in the key to the lower right that measures 12 rotations around this 3 looped trefoil's flat surface. Here we see the most thoroughly labeled version of only the innermost illusory torus from the previous three axial loops trefoil knot, showing space as rotating around from past to future on the ring shape, while time is revolving around in the same direction on the ring, however opposite and parallel to space when measured at the midpoint. This toroidal wormhole shape occurs on all scales, from the subquantum superluminal tachyon to the hyperspatial multiverse surrounding our local space-time continuum.